Uh, so in the same way that I wanted to make chelation available to people who didn't, who didn't want to do needles, I wanted to make a liver gallbladder flush available. Um, I think if you want to do it, it's much better to first soften and break down the stones as much as possible uh, before you do that. Um, but the, the challenge I would say is that it doesn't address why the stones were there. It will flush the gall, the bile, the sludge, and, and, but it won't get to the causal layer. And part of that has to do with all the chlorinated water we're exposed to. The body needs to get rid of that with glycine and taurine con uh, peptide conjugation. Uh, so we end up with glycine and taurine deficiencies, and glycine and taurine are the building blocks of bile. So I think that's part of what's going on. I think the uh, people who are on a low-fat diet, which I believe is a mistaken idea, um, who aren't giving the, the liver the continual stimulation to produce bile and stay moving, also that contributes to the kind of hardening and sludging effects. Liver gallbladder flushes are vitally important. Uh, how can we do this a little bit more gracefully? Uh, now, a suppository goes up against one of, uh, goes, is right up against three veins in that area. One of them is the portal vein, it goes right to the liver. So suppositories are a great way to access the liver. So when you put things in a suppository, one of the places it'll go is right to the liver. And so we use those things, uh, Chanka Pietra is one of my favorites, uh, for supporting the liver and dealing with uh, the clogging, uh, supporting the liver and dealing with uh, resolving the stones, but also giving it the building blocks to make bile in the first place. I think when someone's getting a healing crisis, what's gone on is they haven't cleared the channels for detox first. So the water-soluble toxins have to come out the urine, so the kidneys have to be clear. Uh, you know, BU and creatinine ratio and no calcified kidneys. And the fat soluble toxins are going to come out the liver and the gallbladder and the bile. So what I like to do first, if I'm detox, if I'm uh, doing a detox is do the glitamins and the metacardium. So I know the glitamins first. So I know that the liver gallbladder is moving as clear as possible.